day ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the off-grid enclave channel it's beautiful weather outside the sun is blasting and the solar system is very happy as solar is usually the backbone for most off-grid power systems today we will be having a closer look at my off-grid inverters and charge controllers and how they get configured if you're interested how my off-grid power system functions overall, I'll post the link down in the description. Let's start with the charge controllers. I'm running five 60 ampere MPPT charge controllers. Now don't get confused because the brand name or the manufacturer's name sounds very close. It's called MPP Solar. The model name is PCM60X. As you can see on the screen, it works for 12V, 24V and 48V systems. I'm running these charge controllers since about 6 years and never had any sort of issues. Same goes for my off-grid inverters. Same brand, they're from MPP Solar. The model name is PIP2424MSX. My inverters only work for 24 volt system, but they are available for all other common voltages. The main advantage of an off-grid inverter is that it houses the main functions of a solar system in a single unit. It has a 60 ampere MPPT charge controller. It has a 2400 watt pure sine wave inverter. It comes with a 30 ampere AC to DC battery charger. And you can either connect a generator or grid power to run your solar system as an island with grid connection. MPP Solar has a wide variety of different off-grid inverters in size, voltages and all different parameters and specs. I will put a link in the description to their website for whoever is interested. So let's have a quick look at the solar system to get a brief overview. Starting from the left, you can see my low frequency off-grid inverter. It has a 50 ampere MPPT solar charge controller, a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter, 40 ampere AC to DC charger. On the right side of that, you can see one of the MPP solar off-grid inverters. Up next, we have three of the PCM60X charge controllers from MPP solar. In the corner, you can see my fuse boxes for the incoming solar lines, a small wind charge controller in the upper right corner, two more charge controllers and another off-grid inverter unit. You can see all of the charge controllers and inverters have LCD screens for starts and very basic rudimentary configuration options. To do proper fine-tuning and the overall configuration However, one needs a proper computer or a mobile device to connect and do the configuration there. To do that, I prepared three things. My laptop, data cable that comes with the charge controllers and inverters, and a serial to USB converter. So, here we have the software for the configuration and the stats. On the side we have the USB to serial adapter going and we just take this long cable and plug it right into the charge controller. The default view shows your current stats and parameters of the charge controller. Charging power, solar input voltage, battery voltage, temperature and all of these stats. There is an option to connect an external thermometer which I do not have connected, that is why I chose minus 30 degrees. In the parameter settings window, you can customize all important settings of the charge controller. Absorption voltage, flow charging voltage, the maximum charging current, and you can also configure the temperature compensation ratio here. Furthermore, there is an option to enable battery equalizing. There is plenty of options to configure that according to your needs. As you made it that far into the video, consider leaving a like if you enjoy this content. Subscribe for further content and updates. If you have questions, ideas or input, don't be shy, hop on our Discord. I'll leave a link in the description down below. For the off-grid inverter, we start with the same basic setup. We have our laptop with the software installed and have the cable connected straight to its port. 
The default view for the inverter looks about the same as the charge controller. And you can see all the current stats and parameters. Obviously there's a few more compared to the charge controller, mainly the parameters for the inverter. The parameter settings window is where things get a little bit more wild on the inverter compared to the charge controller. Off-grid inverters are for different devices in a single unit. Therefore, there is a plenty of parameters and settings to do for each of them. Aside from standard settings, like the battery voltages and the frequency for the inverter, there is a few settings at which we will have a closer look. Just like with the charge controllers, you have the ability to limit the charging current for the inverter as well. For these off-grid inverters, you can also configure the charge source priority as well as an option to select the output source priority. For both devices, the charge controllers and the off-grid inverters, there is an option to have the data logged by the software. All the important stats are recorded here and presented in NICE graphs. As mentioned before, I have most of these devices running since about 6 years. Most of them run 24-7 and I have never had any issues with them so far. I can recommend them as quality long-term off-grid inverters. With that, we conclude this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Wish you a great day and make it count.